Why Fortnite is better than Warzone? These two games have been on top of first person shooters for a while, but which is ultimately better and why? This is a complicated question because these games are very different. But I will try to answer it. First, let's talk about the pros and cons of each. Some things Fortnite does better than Warzone is the fighting side. It's just so easy to die in Warzone because you can't build. Basically, once an enemy sees you, your chances of surviving are slim to none. They will simply out-aim you before you can even see them. Now in Fortnite, on the other hand, you can be caught off guard, build, pop two floppers, some minis, and one pumper kid. Warzone just doesn't let you have a second chance. Now it doesn't really end in Warzone because you have the gulag and your teammates can save you by buying. But that exact moment when you could have gotten that kill is just so important because of how much loot you could have gotten instead of starting all over again after you win in the gulag. Plus, what if you die again due to someone seeing you first? It's just so annoying. Another reason for that Fortnite is better than Warzone are the weapons and weapon slots. It's just so annoying. You can just hold two weapons. For example, imagine you're carrying a shotgun and an AR. What you do if you find an RPG? Of course, all of you guys know, Warzone has way better graphics than Fortnite. Nope. But that does come with disadvantages though. People with lower than average PCs are pretty bad at running Warzone because of this. Even with the lowest graphical settings, FPS is pretty bad here. Plus, 150 players and a huge map makes things worse. Good thing they didn't even release a mobile version because it would probably crash in 2 seconds. Fortnite's graphics might not be as detailed because it doesn't have to be. Fortnite is more of a kids game so they don't include blood or make it look like real life. Instead, they make it cartoony, adding grass and trees, light green and brighter. Most players don't even struggle with FPS in Fortnite because you can turn down the settings. That's the reason it's even available on mobile. Well, not anymore, so rip. <laughs> F Apple, bro. <laughs> Next up, modes. Now, Warzone does have solos, duos, and squads, but that's just about it. It's just nothing much to do in, in Warzone Battle Royale. If you do want to play other modes, they cost money because they belong to Modern Warfare. Fortnite has creative mode that has unlimited possibilities. Tournaments, arenas, and LTMs. All are free. You can even win money by playing these. Now, let's talk map, looting, and storm. A Warzone's map is definitely a little bigger than Fortnite's, but that doesn't mean it's better. In fact, I like Fortnite's map better because it's just way easier to get around and find people. Also, I don't like the look of locations in Warzone. Everything is just torn down and it really is getting boring now. We've been seeing the same old broken card graphics for over two decades already. The detail quality improved, but the same broken buildings and materials are still in COD. Just add something that looks new for once. Another boring thing about Warzone is that every game just feels the same. Battle Royales are meant to have a different outcome every time. You always spawn with a pistol every time you get the same shield, AR, SMG. Even when you get a supply drop from Warzone, you can pick between the same loadouts every game. I feel like Warzone just takes the biggest reason battle royales were fun in the first place, and that's survival. You survive every round because there's so many just to get rebooted. It's just not satisfying to even get a win because you probably got another chance like 5 times in that game. You know those moments in Fortnite when you have a sniper from a chest and an enemy got a pistol from a chest. It's just so fun playing with RNG and stuff. Yes, it might be annoying, but I would much rather play with a more fun RNG based game than a game that repeats itself every time you jump out of the plane. One thing I really hate about Warzone is the storm. Let's say it's final top 3 situation in solos. Some guy is in the middle of zone and so is the other. And you're on the edge of circle. The circle moves and starts shooting you. Can't build or anything because you're in Warzone. Also, Storm in Warzone is way more powerful than Fortnite. In like every 10 seconds, you're dead. And plus, you have no heals because also, it's Warzone. <coughs> Even in early game, the Storm ticks for so much. While in Fortnite, as long as it's not final last circles, you can collect loot or even fight in Storm. Even if it's final circle, you still have meds, unlike Warzone, your shields are the main healing item. Now, I'm gonna talk about money. Both games aren't really pay to win by the skins or cosmetics, but Warzone is kinda having an advantage here. If you have the Modern Warfare version, which costs money, you can upgrade your weapons. But if you are a free to play player, you'll have to get those upgrades and weapons in game. Although this isn't a huge problem, it's still a noticeable difference. 
that I have to mention when it comes to comparing these games. Competitive is another topic I would like to talk about. The skill gap is pretty big in both games because of Warzone's aiming and gun skill and Fortnite's building and editing. But Fortnite still takes the win on this topic because they allow anyone over 13 to compete. To compete in tournaments like in Warzone, you have to join a team or have a big following. No one would have known who anyone like Booga was if he was playing Warzone. Like I said before, you can even win money in cash cups even without having much qualifications. At the end of the day, these are both really great games. And when more and more FPS games are made, it's better when there's more competition. Games do release better updates to try to gain more players, so I guess it benefits us the most. I was biased in this video because I play Fortnite more, but everything I stated was true due to my research on websites and YouTube. I will be making a why odd is better than Fortnite video probably soon if I get a lot of quests or if I'm interested in that topic too. Thanks for watching and let's have a discussion about this in the comments below.